get by It resides between my eyes Walk through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a beach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Live from the Sweet and Snack Show Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, we're live at the Sweet and Snack Show, and what I love is vegan, vegetarian products that taste delicious, um, and this is a mushroom jerky. My favorite is the barbecue. I'm here with the founder, Michael, and uh, tell us about the products you have. Yeah, so our product's called uh, Pan's Mushroom Jerky. It's a... Uh uh, jerky made of mushrooms, there's no meat or no soy, uh, and it's actually based off a family recipe of mine from Malaysia. Uh, my family's vegetarian Buddhist there, and years ago, I happened to come across it. I fell in love with it, and I actually thought it was a meat product, but it was actually a mushroom. And so after learning the story and learning why they made it, I fell in love with it. I said, we need to get this out to the rest of the world. And so um, that happened in 2008. What's the original family recipe? Like, what, what flavors do you have now? We, we had, they had one flavor, and it was uh, some other ingredients. And so we, we knew that um, for a while we, we did try it out, just imported the product. And um, we wanted to update the ingredients and update some more common flavors. And so we, in 2017, decided to bring manufacturing in Portland, Oregon. Uh, came out with four flavors. So we have four SKUs a day and applewood barbecue, uh, salt and pepper, original, and a zesty taino. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if it's good enough for a Buddhist monk, it's good enough for anyone, right? I, I mean, I'm a little biased. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and so talk about what made you start the company. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it was one of those things where I went home to visit this family that I hadn't seen since I was a child. And, uh, you know, they kind of taught me about my family history, my uh, kind of my, my culture a bit. And, you know, one of those ways to do that is experience it through food. And, you know, they exposed me to this world that they had been living in, this, this, this vegetarian lifestyle that um, I fell in love with and what, you know, that there are products like this that exist that I had no idea. Um, I knew that this was a product that, you know, personally, you know, obviously vegans and vegetarians would love, but also how, help allow other people to enjoy a product that is more sustainable, healthier for you. And I, I, I knew that we had, yeah, just something that other people would love. What were you doing before this? Um, something uh, not food related, actually. No. I was actually an engineer. Okay. Um, I used to actually live here in Chicago, um, working for Motorola, and so I was. Uh, my background is actually engineering. So, talk about the first product you created and the evolution of. You know, maybe you were experimenting in your kitchen and, and how it evolved. Yeah, my uh, my kitchen at home didn't smell too great, to be honest with you. But uh, no, we we really tried to make a conscious decision in what ingredients and quality ingredients to make. Uh, while making it affordable, obviously. So we went through a number of iterations with, um, obviously, mushrooms. We tried button mushrooms, uh, portobellas, some other ones that didn't quite meet the texture we wanted. Uh, luckily, we had a base uh, product that my family had, shiitakes, but we wanted to try other things yeah, as well. just in case. Yeah. Just in case. And uh, shiitakes themselves are just nice and meaty, and, and not only that, but they're uh, you know one of the highly regarded mushrooms that provide a great umami taste. Um, and not only that, but obviously the other ingredients and in, that we use, we try to make you know really good decisions on what we, what other um, ingredients we have. So facility-wise, how do you guys produce it? We have our kitchen in Portland, Oregon. Uh, we actually have a shared kitchen at the moment. We're we're still growing and small, but um, in the next four months, we're actually moving in our own facility uh, to expand out our production because we're we're simply just not making enough at the moment, which is a great. Uh, a great problem to have, um, but we're trying to take that next big step to, um, yeah, to make it seven days a week and, and 24 hours a day, I hope. So where can people find it? Yeah, uh, we're sold around the country um, in many different regions. Uh, you can find us in most of the regional chains um, and a lot of independent co-ops, um, but also on our website, mushroomjerky.com, as well as Thrive Market and some other uh, online retailers as well. Yeah. Mushroomjerky.com. And so... Talk about, I wanted to hear about some of the challenges. You know, starting something like this is not easy. Um, and then we'll talk about some of the proud moments. What are some of the challenges? Oh, there's so many. Um, I have so much respect for anyone in this business trying to start off. And I mean, we're 
we're at one stage only and you know we'll continue facing challenges but you know depending on your financial situation we we are bootstrapped um, so a lot of our funding is just from sales yeah sales right. you know and, and that's our focus making more product selling more it's it seems simple but it's obviously difficult um, so that's challenging trying to find enough balance to accelerate your growth but you know we are we are taking the path of a controlled growth mode and trying to make the right decisions to slowly but steady and as fast as we can grow uh, with the funding we have. Um, so we're proud of how the progress we've made so far, um, but we're excited about you know this upcoming year. We have a lot of good things coming up. And then uh, proud moments. We we've been really lucky that um, there's a lot of, been a lot of coverage in plant base, and uh, we're definitely riding that wave. And I don't see that stopping anytime. Uh, so we, we were lucky enough to get written up in the Wall Street Journal. We've gotten some really good press in the Today Show. And uh, we're just excited to be a part of this movement and help hopefully lead the way, along with a lot of other great companies that are doing it. And, um, yeah, we plan to continue doing that. That's great. I love the product. Where should we point people online? MushroomJerky.com, best place, uh, as, well as, our, as well as our social handle, at Mushroom Jerky on Instagram and on Twitter. MushroomJerky.com. Check it out. My personal favorite, the Applewood Barbecue. Thanks, Michael. Awesome. Thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.